Iran has made a breakthrough in their indigenous technology by unveiling their own turbojet engine. The Oj Zenith engine made its debut at a ceremony for Iran's defense industry, moving forward towards developed countries. The hardware and software designs of this turbo engine are of Iranian origin with no outsourced materials. The Oj has over 14,000 individual parts, and Iran joins the other eight nations capable of designing jet engines. The first national turbojet engine has the capability to operate at altitudes as high as 50,000 feet, it is equipped with multiple systems with high maneuverability capabilities in various operational and environmental conditions, and can be mounted on planes with a maximum takeoff weight of 10 tons. Iran's National Defense Industry Day also had a demonstration of their first vertical launching air defense system and high-tech drones. Iran's defense program has come a long way since American hackers sabotaged their nuclear program with Stuxnet virus. However, this is no laughing matter because Iran now has the technology to threaten neighboring countries. Iran could implement the new engine in a fleet of jets and drones, or sell them to enemy nations. Pressed News Videos covers the details in their report of the Iran's National Defense Industry Day. For a country that used to import even a toothbrush before, Iran has been making giant strides in industry and indigenously produced components. Recently, on the country's Defense Industry Day, President of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, had unveiled the first domestically produced turbojet engine Oj, Zenith, in a prestigious ceremony attended by press officials, industry experts, and scientists of the nation. The president of Iran has described this achievement as a bridge between industrialized nations and developing countries. The Oj turbojet engine is one of the most complicated components produced for the aviation industry in Iran. It was built without any foreign technical assistance in regards to its hardware and software. This puts Iran in the elite list of eight countries that are capable of producing such high-end aircraft engines through indigenous technology and makes a breakthrough in the county's defense and aviation industry. The engine, which was designed and manufactured by the country's leading scientists at the Defense Industries Organization, is now slated to be pressed into mass production. The Oj is one of the most sophisticated products to be produced in Iran and will go a long way in decreasing the country's dependence on foreign technology and aircraft engines. The engine comprises of 14,000 individual components and can operate at an altitude of 50,000 feet in various climatic conditions. Its approximate takeoff weight is around 10 tons, which is more than sufficient to power the multi-role fighter jets of the Iranian Air Force. This engine serves as a benchmark for the manufacture of subsequent jet engines that the country hopes to continue designing and building. Iran is now poised to look forward to a new generation of light aircraft and heavy-duty planes, based on the Oj turbojet. Here's a more close look at how the Oj turbojet engine works. Turbojet engines are air-breathing engines used in aircraft and ballistic missiles. It is constructed with a gas turbine and propelling nozzle, with the gas turbine consisting of an air inlet, compressor, combustion chamber and an exhaust chamber. The turbine powers the compressor, which compresses air and heats it with burning fuel in the combustion chamber. The hot gases are the allowed to expand in the turbine. The turbine exhaust gases then expand through the propelling nozzle where it accelerates to high speeds, providing the necessary thrust. This essentially works on Newton's third law of motion every force has an equal and opposite reaction force.
Variations of the turbojet exist, such as the turboprop which has a propeller attached to the compressor assembly, and turbofan where a ducted fan accelerates air using energy from the turbine. Although turboprops and turbofans are quieter and more fuel efficient, turbojets are used in aircraft and supersonic medium-range cruise missiles because of their high speed of exhaust gases, the simplicity of construction and reduced cross-sectional area. Let's break down the individual parts. The inlet or air intake is placed directly in front of the compressor at the front of the engine assembly. It helps direct incoming air, which is cold and at low temperature, into the rotating compressor blades. The air is flowing at subsonic speeds, regardless of the actual speed of the aircraft or vehicle. The compressor, which is driven by the turbine, then takes this cold and low-pressure air and compresses it, increasing both pressure and temperature. Typical rotational speeds are around 2,500 rpm, while compressors of smaller helicopter engines Thank you.